Hello everybody. Today I am going to make a very simple emergency light system by using some trash and uh, some very easily available material and uh, this is a mobile emergency charger which, which is faulty and I am going to use its battery. It is having a 3.7 volt battery which is very su very much suitable to glow uh, LED and now this uh, charger is faulty uh, its charger uh, built-in charger is faulty so I'm going to use this buck converter to charge the battery and uh, this buck converter will convert the input voltage either it is 12 or 9 to the suitable voltage that is 4.2 volt to charge the battery available in this emergency charger and this is a 2.1 mm power socket these two are simple toggle switches and these are some 1 watt LED and it is easily available on eBay for about $2 for 10 and I'm going to use this power resistors and uh, it will work as a current limiter register and I'm having some scrap aluminium sheet and uh, this sheet will work as a heat sink for this LED I'm going to place this LEDs like that on this sheet so when these LEDs glow and heat up this aluminium sheet will work as a heat sink so I'll take the batteries out from this emergency mobile charger here it is the circuit I've taken out and these are the batteries and uh, these are 3.7 volt battery and uh, it's very good capacity that is about 10,000 milliampere hour and uh, this battery will be very suitable to make the emergency lighting system so I'll show you the schematic how I'm going to do it here it is the schematic diagram what I'm going to use is that we are going to place three LEDs in parallel and we are having 3.7 volt battery source so it is suitable to energize one LED at a time so we will put three LEDs in parallel so the voltage will be working to glow and then we are going to put a current limiting resistance and uh, these three LEDs are of 1 watt and uh, these 1 watt LEDs consumes about 270 milliampere at a time so three LEDs will consume about uh, less than 1 am ampere and uh, by the simple calculation we can find out that this current limiting resistance will be about 4 ohm and thereafter we are going to put a switch over there and we are going to put this switch over there and from the middle point we are going to connect the battery and this battery is 3.7 volt and this is a toggle switch if you put the switch up then it, it will start glowing these LEDs and if you put this toggle switch down then it will be start charging and for the charging we are using this buck converter and it will convert from 12 or 9 volt to uh, the charging voltage that is 4.2 volt so we are going to place this buck converter over there and uh, 
we are going to connect the point of the toggle switch with this buck converter at this point the buck converter will be giving 4.2 volt and uh, at the another end it will be either 12 volt to about uh, 7 volt you can see we can put 10 volt to 7 volt range and uh, this point will be grounded for this buck converter so this is the complete circuit now what else we can do uh, we are using uh, 3 LED at a time but uh, I want to put 6 LED and in that case I'll make an another small schematic for that so there will be option with me that at a time I'll be able to glow 3 LED or 6 LED for that again I'm going to put 3 more LED in parallel and again I'll use this current limiting resistance that is 4 ohm about and I'll put an another toggle switch over there and uh, what we'll do that we'll connect one of the point of this toggle switch to this another circuit and we'll take this connection up to there so what happen if we put this toggle switch up then this circuit will through and again this three more LED will start glowing and if we put this toggle switch down then this three LED will isolate and only these three will be glowing so in this circuit uh, this toggle switch will provide the option that either we will keep the battery in charging condition or will use this emergency light if you put the toggle switch on either place and this another toggle switch will provide us option that we are glowing 3 LED or 6 LED at a time so here it is my schematic and uh, it is very easy to understand and very easy to build so let's see how it works now as per the plan we have to arrange these three LED in parallel and another set of the three LEDs in parallel I have arranged as per the planning and uh, I have used this aluminium plate to work as a heat sink and these three LEDs are in parallel and this is another set of three LEDs which are in parallel and I have connected 4 ohms with this switch and another 4 ohm with this another switch so this is 1 ohm resistance and I have taken 4 to make it 4 ohms and as I have described earlier this is a buck converter and uh, this is a 2.1 mm power socket and I have connected this power socket with this buck converter input and uh, I have set this buck converter to provide 4.2 volt as a output and I have set this by using this port and uh, by setting this screw we will be able to change the output value and uh, I will show you what is the output and here it is I am using a 12 volt 2 ampere power supply to energize this buck converter and to get charge these lithium ion batteries so I will show you the output of this buck converter 
and uh, thereafter I'll fix everything in this box and uh, I'll put these LEDs over there and it will be done it will be start working so first I'll show you the output of this buck converter here it is I'm going to show you the input and output of this buck converter so I have connected this buck converter with the power and uh, we can see the input voltage is 11.2 volt and we can see the output voltage is 4.2 volt and uh, I have set with this potentiometer the output is 4.2 volt and it is very much suitable to get charge this lithium battery and uh, this ba lithium battery is having normal voltage is 3.7 volt and now I'm going to arrange everything in this box and uh, this all will go in this box and uh, this emergency light will start working uh, I'll get it done and I'll show you here it is my emergency light is ready and uh, in this normal condition we can able to charge this emergency light using 2.1 power connector and we are using 12 volt 2 ampere charger to charge this emergency light and uh, it is having very good capacity battery and if we make it on we can see one row start glowing and as per the design I have shown you earlier that in the normal condition if we use this switch only one row uh, of three parallel LED will start glowing and if we press this another switch we can see another row also start glowing as per the design you can see I have operated this switch so it is very nice to make and very easy also and we have used the trash scrap materials mainly and uh, now it is a very useful device thanks for watching